Well, good morning, everyone. This is the state of my kitchen. That is a B&M haul, which I'm going to film for you later. But, saw the breakfast stuff. Yeah, so I saw a hack on TikTok, which I'm going to try out now. Sorry, I'm like walking around. Um, it's how to poach an egg. So I'm going to show so you. So here's what you do. You take an egg, you pop it in a bowl, and you cover it in boiling water. And then you cover it with cling like film. So, and you set a timer for 11 minutes. Apparently, it's supposed to give you a perfect poached egg. So we'll come and have a look in 11 minutes. We're going to have some yogurt with berries. Finished most of the berries. There's only these left, which I'm keeping for Aussie later. I have not made chia seed pudding. So I'm going to do something that I've never done before. So I'm going to sprinkle a few shea seeds on top. Apparently your body doesn't digest them as well. So I'm not going to go. And I, I basically eat them mainly for digestive purposes. So I'm still going to put a little bit. And I'm going to leave these out so, oh, so I can make some shea pudding for tomorrow. In case you're wondering how to make chia seed pudding. You take some water, you take some chia seeds. Now, if you're looking to find out quantities wise, just go on the internet. I probably have about, <clears throat> sorry, about 100 ml of water, and then two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then you stir it. <coughs> oh goodness. Leave it for a few minutes and you're gonna need to stir it again. Okay, now at the stage where you stir again. Oh try not to make too much of it. And then you sweeten it. You don't have to. Um I put this is my favourite one, but you can use maple syrup, honey. Mm. I guess sugar if you wanted. But yeah, I just use a little bit of this. Oh. Give it a stir again. Pop it in the fridge. I would give it a couple of hours before using it, but I wouldn't use it until tomorrow. Just put it in the fridge and it's ready for the yogurt tomorrow morning. Here we go. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. Oh, I think it needed more time. Let me see. Let me show you. It's not quite there. Definitely not quite there. It's still very runny. That's a shame. It needs a couple of minutes, I reckon. Okay. We're not going to waste it. Just put a bit of um, fry light in there. I'm gonna pop it in there. Now I it. wonder, <clears throat> excuse me, did this, this didn't work because it's a big egg. It's not like a medium egg. I don't know. I think it's still, it's not the quickest, but it's something you could do. Leave it to the side while you prep the rest of your breakfast. But yeah, let's see. Let's put a little bit of salt on it. guys managed to solve it salvage it salvage it salvage it that is a big yolk actually can you guys see how big that is compared to the um the white hmm. anyway gonna enjoy this me and Ozzy are gonna eat up my god you guys i better tackle that oh are you okay you're gonna pull me down <laughs> oh my goodness okay guys sorry about the noise as usual um dishwashers on not dishwasher washing machine so just put ozzy to bed 
I tidied up upstairs and now I need to uh, sort this mess out. Just film it, finished filming a B&M haul that you'll see soon. And I had to pause the washing machine and the dryer. So let's put that on. Here we go for the noise. But it's the most miserable day, you guys. Look, I don't know. You can't see the rain falling. But trust me, it is. <laughs> right. I need to get my stuff together. I still haven't finished in here or in here because I wanted to do that quickly. Okay, you guys, it's after lunch. Paul's just gone back. But look, mm. still haven't managed to finish in there. Let's keep going. Let's get this done before Ozzy okay, wakes so I'm up. I'm finally done. It took ages, you guys. Literally just in time for... Uh, Ozzy to wake up. He is awake. Um, I wanted to show you. I ended up. This is the cushion cover that Ed and I ended up getting. It's from Next. Um, you know, I wanted like some pink, pink tones. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I like it, but it goes really well with that. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. This is a mess still, but um, yeah just heard just done a load of laundry put some of it away and this is for upstairs you can see his eyes are open he's moving be seeing you <laughs> be seeing you lindy new domain you can see him smiling <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get it's him. It's been up for like five minutes. Look at that. Already. <laughs> He's reading his book. Just got home from school pickup. Time for the last coffee of the day. And I'm going to have one of those. Uh, this is a lemon bar that I picked up from B&M. Okay, hey guys, it's um, time to make dinner. I am going to make a recipe that I saw on TikTok. It's chicken pot pie. Now, the lady that made it used chicken. I'm going to use gammon. Uh, she had some, um, so she uh, mixed together um, cream of chicken soup as well as some sour cream. I don't have sour cream, so I'm going to add a bit of milk and see how it goes. Obviously not much. Um, and then she added mixed veg, frozen veg. I've got some leeks I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some peas and some sweet corn. Now, the other thing that's part of this recipe is biscuits, as in American type of biscuits, which is like kind of like a scone. I am gonna use um, Hillary from Old World, Old World Home's recipe. I'm gonna start by okay, making. So I've made the biscuit dough super easy. The link to the recipe is in the description box below. Very much like scones. Now, usually you would use a cutter for both scones or scones and biscuits to a cookie, not cookie cutter, a proper cutter. You know what I mean. But I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, so you need an oven proof dish again I'm gonna wing this a little bit I just got the idea from this lady I'm gonna just cover this in oil so it doesn't stick oil. I'm adding all the meat usually it would be chicken I've got the ham the gammon now I'm gonna add the vegetables okay, so here are the vegetables I've got uh, leeks um, peas and corn um, the corn's not um, frozen I didn't have any but the other two are um, I've got as well we're gonna add loads of cheese as usual um, and then I'm gonna make a little mix with this I see I'll show you in a minute but I, I also have a little bit of mozzarella left I'm gonna just add that there into the mix 
waste not well guys i thought i was filming but i wasn't sorry about that so in this uh, bowl i just added a load of milk and a little bit of corn flour so it thickens it uh, whilst it's cooking um, and then i added the soup and i was just stirring it and i thought i was recording but i wasn't so you missed the step but um i'm just yeah i'm just gonna do that in the original recipe, the lady adds a load of sour cream, but I don't have it. So I just thought I just need a bit more liquid because I've only got a small can of soup for all of that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me stir it all up. Okay, now I'm not going to add salt because the ham's quite salty, but I am going to add paprika because life is better with paprika. Some garlic powder for the same reason. And some parsley. A bit more. Now you guys, lots of cheese. <laughs> I hope this is going to turn out okay. I'm using mature cheddar. I think that's probably enough mature cheddar. I'm going to give this a stir. There you go. Now, what the lady did was she took a can of biscuits because in the US, you can buy them already made in a can. And then she's diced them and mixed them into this, which is why this is pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to take chunks and just throw them in and mix okay, it all together. guys, I did not use it all, um, but I've, um, yeah, I've put some of it in here, as you can see. Now, one thing I notice about this, a lot more, not as dense as scones. I am gonna cook these as normal. I wanna see what they taste like. Never had biscuits, so yeah. Now we're gonna tip that into that. like so. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for about, I think about 45 minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. So yeah, I also made some biscuits with the leftover stuff. So um, I cannot wait to try, I'm gonna put them in so, as well. While everything is in the oven over there, let's um, clear this out. Okay, so these are cooked nicely brown, browned on at the bottom. I'm going to cut one open and I'm going to put some butter in it. Paul and I are going to try it. They look so much like scones, but they're not. They honestly aren't, you know, like the, they're a lot fluffier. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. So, Paul described it as a scone and Alex described it as a dumpling. And it's a mix of the two. That's how I can describe it. You guys should try it. I could easily put jam in the middle and butter and cream and you know mistake it for a scone oh my goodness it might taste pants but it looks incredible we're gonna try it you guys that was delicious there's still some left here which i'm gonna put in the um fridge i'm gonna pack it all up again and uh, we're going to have it tomorrow for dinner. Paul absolutely loved it. The one thing I would do differently next time is I would put the biscuits on top. Um, as I mixed it, as per the recipe that I saw, I've, the the ones that were completely covered in, in the middle were quite soggy. I didn't like that. I preferred the top like this and then just a little bit moist underneath underneath if that makes sense but that is a win now i've just gotta load up the dishwasher and do a tidy up good night